Hello everyone, this is James. Welcome back to my stock channel for a late afternoon update. It's Friday after hours. Roku is just starting to come apart. 25% uh, of their cash is at SVP, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, that went out of business today. And 90% uh, of all of their customers are not insured. Uh, how much will they get back? When will they get it back? Uh, looming questions for Roku, which closed today at $59.99. It's now puckering around $57. So it's lost $3 just in the last few minutes. Uh, keep in mind, every company that has money with SVP uh, is probably going to lose that money at least for a few weeks. So there will be a panic. Uh, hopefully they can liquidate assets and get their money or 90% of it back for them or some reasonable amount. Uh, maybe worst scenario, they'll be getting half their money back. Uh, they will be getting something back. But every single one of the depositors, uh, we're looking at a, 200, um, a $200 billion bank. They were uh, one third the size of Lehman Brothers. Uh, this is one of America's top 20 banks that has failed uh, completely. Apparently, they were uh, doing home loans at, you know, 3.5% for everybody for the last 10 years, fixed for 30 years. And they were uh, getting that money through variable uh, sources. Um, when the interest rates went up, all of a sudden, the business model just didn't work anymore. Probably the most irresponsible thing that I ever heard of. I would have guessed that this would have been against the law or against the rules. Or, uh, yeah, you can't go take out variable uh, bonds from the government and then loan money to people on a fixed 30-year rate. Uh, no. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't happening again. But this could be a can of worms. Obviously, it's going to expand uh, to tons of companies. Let's see how much cash Roku has. Yeah, it looks like Roku only has two billion dollars cash, so I guess uh, a half a billion dollars vanished today. Um, that is not going to improve their quarter. <laughs> hopefully, they don't have any bills due, and hopefully, there was nowhere for that to go. Uh, but they just got a whole lot broker real quick. Hopefully, they'll be made whole again. But this is the kind of crisis that can occur from one bank. I don't know if, uh, how much money they lost. I know they tried to do another public offering. Uh, this uh, Silicon Valley Bank. And they were trying to basically trick the stockholders into, into paying for their upside downness um, by diluting their shares. And they decided not to do that and then just to go belly up instead. Maybe they want to go to jail for fraud. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened today. Everything was fine yesterday. You wake up today, stocks frozen. 15 minutes later, companies closed. Late afternoon, uh, Roku and every one of their company's uh, customers right now are sweating. Uh, they're missing their money. They're going to be late on their bills. They're going to miss payrolls. Uh, tens and tens of thousands of people. How many other banks are uh, getting variable loans from the government uh, and then making 30-year fixed loans for 3.5% for the last 10 years? I don't know. I don't know to blame it on the... the uh, and in this case, most of the loans were given to Silicon Valley, perhaps. They said they only had a 10% exposure to that. Uh, Kramer actually recommended uh, this uh, Silicon Valley bank stock on a show recently when they were worth $300. Uh, now they're under 100 and frozen still. Um, I don't know what's going to come out of it, but a quick uh, video on the update and the uh, attack on Roku that they're having their problem. Hopefully this will fix itself. Anyways, I'm James. Subscribe to my channel and please like the video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.